So today I'm going to show you mounting options for your Wi-Fi cameras so that you don't have to drill or screw in holes to your door or to your wall. And you can even use this to mount your video doorbell camera. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today I'm going to show you mounting options for your Wi-Fi cameras that you don't need to drill holes or screw it in. This is mostly for people that live in an apartment or rental properties and have limited mounting options and they are really not allowed to put holes in the walls. I chose and will demo Blink mostly here just because it is a lightweight camera compared to the other ones that have built-in lithium-ion batteries which are normally heavier and especially on mounting using double-sided mounting tape which I'll show you later on, you need to be aware of the weight of the camera. You can also use any Wi-Fi camera, even wired ones, as long as you can modify the mount to accept the camera that you have and also be able to wire or plug it in. With battery-powered ones though, it is going to be easier. First mounting option will be siding hooks, which you can get from Amazon for cheap. If the area that you want to install the camera has sidings, then this is a good option. For the Blink, you will still use the mount that it came with and what you need to do is push the hook side of the siding hook on the gap of the siding. Then slide and push it up. You will need two hooks. Then place the Blink mount and align while the hole in the mount to the hole in the hook. Then screw in the machine screw. Then the same thing on the other hole mount and screw both screws tight. You can then push the blink camera on the mount and adjust it to where you want it to monitor. You can also use these siding hooks to install other camera mounts. So you can use these siding mounts uh, with standard screw-in camera mounts like the one here with the Reolink Argus 3 or the one that comes with the Uficam 2C or the one that comes with the Arlo Essential. The only thing is that the longer the mount and the camera is, the more wobbly it is. It is secured through the wall though and it will not fall because the weight pushes the hook tighter on the siding, but it is just wobbly. The Blink camera with its mount is a good camera for this type of mounting. Also, this is only recommended to use this mount in taller and higher siding installs because it is easy to remove. So just tilt up and push down, but no screw holes. Second drill and screw-free mount option will be this corner mount which I also got from Amazon. If there is a corner wall in the area you want to mount a Wi-Fi camera, this can be a solution. This is designed to be screwed or nailed in but I was able to use double-sided mounting tape if you want to install this in a brick corner wall or even in a wooden wall as long as there is some flat contact between the edges of the corner mount and the wall. A heavy-duty mounting tape is recommended and even with that, I'll be hesitant to put heavier cameras. And that is why I recommend to only use this with a Blink camera if you are planning to just use the mounting tape. To have a peace of mind though, if you're installing it in a wooden wall, you can just tap a small brad nail in one of the screw holes in addition to the mounting tape, and you'll be sure that the mount will not give way and fall. Plus, whenever you remove it, the small hole will be barely noticeable. You will then be able to install heavier Wi-Fi cameras on it like Eufy, Arlos, or the Reolink Argus. Next, screwless mounting option will be a gutter mount, and there are a lot of vendors at Amazon that sells them. But the first company that usually release this type of products is Washerstein, which I have this one which I showed in one of my videos two and a half years ago. This mount still works and you just have to clamp the mount to your rain gutters. Any cameras that have a quire 20 thread mount can be installed without any adapters. They do sell specific camera gutter mounts at Amazon that will include adapters if needed to your specific cameras. I will link some of them in the description down below. The last mounting option and might need some DIY skills is the over-the-door mounting, which no vendor at Amazon has been making yet, but they might when they see this video. Anyways, I'll give Baron of Hell a shout out who gave me this idea after I reviewed the Remo Plus over-the-door camera. And you can easily do this mounting option using the wreath holders which you might have a couple of them laying around your house. Just drill a couple of holes depending on the brand of Wi-Fi camera that you are going to use. 
which with the blink, you will still be using the original mount. And with a couple of machine screw and nuts, you can secure the mount to the holder and just hook it over your door. I did buy some stainless steel over the door hooks on Amazon, but unfortunately my door is thicker than the hook. But I was able to flatten it out and rebend it to fit my door. And because it is shorter, it gives a cleaner look. And the higher it is at your door, the lesser chance it is for someone to mess with it. As long as your camera mount holes will fit on the over the door holder, you'll be able to screw in and install your camera. Another thing that you can use the over the door hooks for is to attach it to a video doorbell. And I've installed and tested a ring video doorbell and also the battery powered UFI doorbell. And you can slide the hook in the side of the door and you have a secure screwless mount option for a battery doorbell. You can also place a small piece of mounting tape or command tape to have more security if you want to. As long as you screw in the doorbell to the over the door hooks, it is pretty secure and it will be hard for somebody to pull the doorbell out of your door. I was concerned at first about how close the doorbell is to the door jam and it will most likely reflect some infrared light back at night. But when I tested the UFI, it still looked pretty good with the night vision on. But if you have your porch light on at night, you can turn off night vision and you can record in full color and you don't have to worry about infrared night vision glare. And that's it. If there are any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.